The next common compensatory pattern we often see at the upper quarter is simply external rotation. That rotator cuff, one of their jobs is definitely external rotation, even though as a group, is to centrate that humeral head. We can totally do our classic external and internal rotation with our bands or our cuff weights. Those exercises are totally acceptable and fine to do. I like to add some more stability and some more components to my posterior cuff or external rotation work in order to get a little bit more out of the exercise. Oftentimes what we will see especially if someone's postoperative, especially if someone is having pain, that we may see a dominance of the posterior deltoid. But if they do have a very weak rotator cuff and the posterior aspect, we may see them try to substitute with excessive scapular retraction, or we may see them substitute with excessive thoracolumbar extension. Anything that they can do in order to not use that posterior cuff that for whatever reason is weak or not functioning as part of the group. So if we want to do some posterior cuff external rotation type exercises, here are some of my favorite ways to do them. The first is going to be a wall walk. So it's really a progression of the windshield wiper that we showed you earlier. So it's going to be the same wrap, the same hand setup as we did for the windshield wiper. Kristen's going to go ahead, turn around, same position to begin with. Our arms are going to be in that parallel position. Our abdominals are going to be activated, so we're taking any sway out of the low back. This exercise basically is going to go from just below shoulder height, maybe up into her eyes. So her elbows are most likely not going to come any higher than her eyes. What I'm going to have her do first is slightly externally rotate, and then she is going to proceed to walk up the wall. As she walks up, she is going to have the tendency to arch that back and to sway that back in order to help her get higher. We really want her to combat that. So again, she has to earn her mobility. She's firing that posterior rotator cuff, all of those external rotators, she's working that core. We've done a study with this exercise specifically with EMG that shows we have a much greater activation of the lower trapezius and actually helps shut this upper trapezius off. So we have a greater activation of the lower trap here than we do in the upper trap. So this is also a great exercise for that previous compensation that we talked about for excessive shoulder elevation. But I really like this one to activate that posterior cuff. The second exercise we're going to do is a Brueger's extension exercise. What I'm going to have Kristen do is a very similar wrap around her hands. And it may take a couple times to do this exercise to find the right amount of tension, and that's okay. So I'm going to have her wrap. This exercise is really going to focus on the entire posterior chain, on the entire extensor system, on that entire new system of the upper quarter. So I'm not going to have her clench. I'm not going to have her hold that band. We need to have the fingers active in this exercise as well. So the first part of the exercise is her hands are going to be up, palms are going to be supinated. She is going to open up her fingers, extend her fingers and her wrist. Once those are extended, she is going to externally rotate her arms. Once that happens, she is going to extend her elbows. And then she is going to reverse the exercise as slowly as possible, bending her elbows, allowing slow controlled internal rotation, which is really eccentric external rotation. She will then release her hands. Now, this time as she begins to come down, extend out, I'm going to have her keep her arms down a little bit closer to her body. And then go ahead, slow bend slow, controlled, released position, 
and released hands. I'm going to have her go one more time. Keep those elbows right next to your body for me, Kristen. Externally rotate. Keep those elbows where they are. Just extend your palms down. Good. So she gets all of that activation of the entire posterior chain. Nice, slow return. And rest. The big thing with this exercise, as with most of these exercises, is when they're in that bottom position, go ahead and get to that extended position for me. Again, oftentimes the athlete will want to extend at their thoracolumbar junction. We don't want to let them. So again, we can use our breath to help facilitate stability. We can have them do this motion on an exhale and return to neutral or their resting position on an inhale. That'll help them use their core stabilizers and help keep their thoracolumbar junction in a more neutral position. A third exercise I like to do if I specifically want to focus on external rotation of the shoulder is to get them in a position that challenges their entire body, not just working their external rotators of their shoulder. So here what I'm going to have Kristen do is get into a modified side plank. So her elbow is going to be right under her shoulder here. So we're going to get some stability of this downward side. I'm going to have her lift up into a half side plank here. So now she's driving this knee into the ground. She's getting some stability through this foot. She's elevating these hips. We're getting some nice activation of her trunk and in this side body right here. Her head is a natural extension of her spine. Her elbow is going to be slightly off of her body. And she is going to externally rotate, aiming for my hand, and back down. Go ahead and come up again, back down. So now, yes, we are working on a classic external rotation exercise, but there's so many other things going on here. We're incorporating a lot of different stability components, including these deep neck flexors, which is a really nice thing to add in. So I love this activity for my athletes if I simply want to work on strengthening those external rotators. And rest. Good job. If you liked this video and you want to see more, make sure to subscribe below and don't forget to hit the notification button.